Apartment 3D, Part 1, Flat City, by Josiah Paul Hemus. The great poet Gertrude Lyne once wrote, A line is a line is a line is a line. She was talking about her lineage, but somehow most of us streaks knew what she meant. This is your life. This is a linear tale. And it only goes in one direction, baby. Much like the world I was born to. You see, I'm classified as a 1D. We're in the first dimension. And if you didn't know, that's just one step above zero. Zilch. Nada. You can consider this part one. Life on the line or flat city. My name is Dashiell, but everyone just calls me Dash. I was born outside Flat City in an area you never want to go to called The Sticks. Like any other noodle out there, I came into this world just a little dot no bigger than a speck. And as I smudged my way along, I did what most streaks do. I played my share of stickball and crisscrossed my way through life and school until it caught up with me. Well, after getting too many X's on my tests, my father, my pops, took a switch to me. The pain of these blows brought the only color I would ever truly know in my life. Red. For some reason, as it came out of my scrawny outline of a body, I was able to see this one color red whenever it appeared. We'll get to that later. To straighten me out, my pops enrolled me in a realignment school. Straight and narrow students often went on to bigger careers on the grid in Flat City. It gave them a slight hairline edge over their other twigs. This way they could earn more D. D equals dimension, baby. And when you are a twisted twig from the sticks, you do anything to get more D. I'm telling you. One D's, like myself, went in only one direction, to an early date with the ultimate flat line, the other big D. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you belong down here with the other one D's. Most needles from the sticks never made it to the end of the line. They had life cut short from eraser's disease, caused by the cancer sticks many of us smoked. I was no exception. I must have erased at least half a lung pipe by the time I was a segment. If I wasn't erasing my pipes, I'd be wired on line snorting. Those white lines brought about a sensation we called getting curvy. Sometimes getting bent, another term we used was the only way to deal with the one-lane highway of choices we had. For most, there was no moving off the line until you reached the ultimate flat line, because no other dimensions wanted to share their D with us. One D was as low as one could go. By the time I got to be a segment, or a seg as we call it, the realignment school was wearing thin. I was often switched for getting out of line. Mr. Long, the ruler of the school, seemed to have aligned himself with the same narrow ideas I found in my dad's thin noodle. 
But all my wet noodle could think about during my timeline as a segment was broad strokes. I found myself visiting the smudge house and stroking my pencil to the strokes found in very crude slit magazines. The curves made my pencil sharp. But inside, I was thin on love. Because what I truly longed for was a parallel connection. Until it happened. One stroke tugged all my heartstrings. She often had to needle and thread up my scars after Mr. Long attempted to straighten me out. Little did he know, a stroke from his own ancestry line would fall for me, the most twisted twig he'd ever met. Her name was Dottie. Dottie and I would often share a few cancer sticks after she snapped me back into shape. We dreamed together of a life on the outskirts of Flat City, a place lined with picket fences where old crooked lines and little dots and segments living in boxes could be together. Love between two lines can be thick. For me, Dottie was the first line I ever got horizontal with. She opened up possibilities of a parallel universe. As we dreamed of going in different directions, our dreams were snapped when Mr. Long found me and Dottie snorting white lines in the smudge house. Dottie was going to be sent away to the school of the crisscross, and I was going to be sent back to the sticks. No way, baby. That night, we bundled up all our sticks, and we made a beeline for the A-Line train into Flat City.